Hi, welcome to the show today, and we have our guest here that will be reviewing Japanese food. And please introduce yourself. All right, them call me Wapidi, you see me? Yeah, I'm coming from, you know what I mean? On a BT, you know, off Mountain View, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, Bridget, you say you're forward and come try some of the Japanese snack, them are what they say, Japanese food. But, you know, I want, I want them some here. Because, first of all, it's cold. A man not drink the tea from morning, so I don't know how this is going to help me. Man said free, so I said, all right, so Bridget, I'm helping out, you see me? But, some of the Adri lose, lose the concept, you see me? You know, I'm the part. I mean, but, a different medicine in their Japan for about seven years. Have you ever tried Japanese food before? No, you know, I just stick to my regular food. You know, I'm not really food around things I'm in the know. You know, I'm ready to say, oh, okay. this is this one. So I'm say, ah, I'll, I'll try it, you know. I'll try it. I'm trusting. This is a staple in the Japanese diet. It's called the onigiri. So, what name? It's called the onigiri. Onigiri? Or, or in English, rice ball. Rice ball? No, I mean, I know. I mean, I know about it. I just said that. Sir, oh, can you calm down? That tree I know about Sir. Japan. Rice bar. Don't you already eat spaghetti and meatballs sometimes? No, I But a triangle, so oh, oh, a triangle, one bar. Oh, that makes sense. All right. So, yes, no, it's like a. It can be filled with meat, fish, eat. seaweed, oh. ume, or Japanese so, okay. plum, and even chicken. Wait, what are you saying? Now? Today, we have two favorite types here the salmon and uh. the tuna mayo, as they say in right, Japanese. It's tuna mayo and so. it's a okay, Wapi, I think you should put the one with salmon in your mouth. No, brother. I know, I like some salmon. <laughs> Not near man tag on nowhere near my mouth. I wanna imagine go with that. We never fool around the sea creature so much still, but you know we work with the tuna mayo. Yeah man, we work with that one. Yeah. Alright, so over this now. Okay now just pull the wrapper in the order it says one, one two, two, three. three. So you alright, cool. One, this so boom. What are what kind of intricate sitting this man? Pusna. So how do I eat something? Well that's seaweed, aka nori in Japan. So so is that it? Yes, sir, that's it. Oh, so let's take a bite. What is my feet with this? You know, feel about this, never that, but. Alright, we're we'll, we'll going out there. Just what's up? Alright. Can you please give us an honest review of the flavors you're experiencing right now? Okay, of course, too. It's not bad, but it's not bad, Dre. You could have used a pepper dough. It's not bad at all. Mmm, poor snack. Mmm. Yeah, man. It's not bad. This could have worked because you make a fruit, you know. Maybe not about the green thing, though, but I think, yeah. You never get something for kind of like a rice, something there. But the rice kind of sticky. All the rice is sticky, I want to. Jamaica people don't fool around them time or something like that. Them rice are for shelly shelly. Like shell on the seashore. You know what I'm saying? Well, the rice in Japan is softer because they use chopsticks poke, 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 as opposed to knives and, and forks. But, it's not bad. What do you get? It's hard, man. Try it. Mmm. Test them put in there. It has a combination of meats or vegetables inside of it. Okay. Yeah, man. It's bad. No, that. It's not bad. A favorite flavor of the kids is called shio, which is just salt and that rice. No meat or anything inside. What is this? Sauce of rice alone? No gravy? No, 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 no gravy at all. Hold on. So maybe it's not. What? It's all right. Puss now. Sauce of rice? Well, guys, thank you today for joining. Let us know what foods you want Wapidi to try next. 